One of the big issues that we have heard today and we've talked about lately is that, that without surgery, the risk of suicide goes way up. Well, I am one of those parents who lived with a daughter who was suicidal for three years. Someone once asked me, wouldn't I just do anything to help save her? And I really had to think. And the answer was no. Wow. That is Montana Representative Carrie Seekins Crow uh, found, I think, the only wrong answer to that question. Feel like it was an easy one. Would you do anything to save their life? Yes. Life is complex, families are complex. I don't casually jump into judging people's decisions when it comes to their family. But the correct answer to that is yes, you would do anything. And all of this, this recounting of her own struggles, her family struggles, and we'll get into more of that, was designed to support a ban on gender affirming care for trans kids. And what's amazing about this as you watch more of this video is she is talking about this difficult struggle that her and her family went through as a means to say you and your family should not get to go through this struggle. You should be legally barred. I struggled with this and failed as a parent, but whatever, I got to struggle. You don't get to, it's illegal. You don't get to make the decisions. It's amazing. She doesn't even seem to understand that that's what she's doing, but take a look at a bit more. I was not going to give in to her emotional manipulation because she was incapable of making those decisions and I had to make those decisions for her. I was not going to let her tear apart my family and I was not going to let her tear apart me because I had to be strong for her. I had to have a vision for her life when she had none, was incapable of having none. What? I mean... I kind of feel like maybe she did. I feel like your idea of you being strong is anything but. I think that actually listening, caring, I think that there are some other stuff, the other things that you could have prioritized. But Francesca, what do you think? She just referred to her suicidal daughter as doing emotional manipulation. She's openly admitting that, like that she's saying that. That's so awful. Like even if you thought that a li- like a little bit, you don't. Do you realize what that sounds like? Uh, you're just being dramatic. Oh God, you know I'm gonna kill myself. Like, and and okay, so that's over there. The second thing is, she's saying I'd rather my child die than, and I'd rather your children die than be, get gender affirming care, than live their true selves uh, as a trans person. That's what she's saying. And then finally. This doesn't surprise me, guys. We are talking every single day about gun violence and the lack of gun control, no matter how many children have to be murdered at the hands of psychopaths. Nothing ever changes. This is a death cult party. You think they care about gender affirming care? No. If her daughter was gunned down in a school, she would side with the gun. So why do we expect them to have empathy when it comes to trans people? They don't. Uh, by the way, uh, Blue Lizard Guts, thank you for the clarification. Unfortunately, I was getting all my information from the woman, which I should not have done because look at her and her whole personality. <laughs> um, Blue Lizard Guts is saying, I'm pretty sure the individual is actually her trans son. We should use they pronouns until we are sure. That is a great point. Thank you for that. Um, and again, like I, I hate everything that was revealed about the effect that she had on her family. But beyond that, she is saying, I understand that people might be willing to take their own life. And I am going to legally bar parents from doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Contrast that to that to what we were talking about earlier in the show about their obligation to anything about gun violence. Like, no, we're gonna step in and we're going to make it more likely that this happens. Yes. I just, she got, labeled uh, by Forward Montana as the villain of the week over a previous bill. Not about this specifically, um, but it was about uh, an abortion related bill. And she responded with this, so many bills I sponsored from which to choose to give me the title. Fighting against the unions and education, parents rights, pro-life. Again, pro-life she calls herself, you know who she is. Pro-gun, pro-constitution. I love pro-life and pro-gun being mashed up right next to each other. That's amazing, you know guns. Those things that contribute to life. 
uh, revamping Judicial Standards Commission, carrying SB 99 in the House floor, ended up being my pro-life bill that got me the honor. And an honor it is, I'm still the original Republican gangster. Just a reminder of who she is, that's who she is. Mm. The original Republican gangster who wants to legally tie the, 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 the hands of parents who are worried about about their kids, Jesus. Mm. That Karen went crazy in the Ann Taylor, look at that. Look at that, that's just like the Karenicity of that photo. Can we just like, look at that. This is like Barbie, midlife crisis Barbie right here. More like causing a crisis for your family, Barbie. Also I that. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.